Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I'm working on a collaboration piece tonight uh, with my friends Claire and Anna. Anna's channel is Anna Blunt Art and uh, Claire's is Rainbow Acrylics by Claire. They're two of my favorite uh, channels to watch. I, I kind of feel like the three of us have very similar channels. Even though we make different art, um, we're all very inventive and we're all kind of generalists. We have no one specific technique. We have lots of techniques that we try to accomplish specific things. So uh, this is gonna be a great collaboration. I'm really excited about it. So Anna uh, and I and Claire decided that each of us would choose something different. So Claire decided uh, to choose the theme, which is spring, because she says she's desperate for spring to arrive. And uh, hold on there, Claire, it's almost here. <laughs> Um, and then I picked, based on that, I picked the color palette, and which I'll show you here in a moment. And then um, Anna picked the technique, which is a ribbon pour. So uh, let me show you my colors. I have, for a base coat, I have this beautiful green color, which is Amsterdam Olive Green Light. And this base coat is uh, kind of a medium to thin consistency. It leaves a little bit of a mound, but it disappears fairly quickly. It's my uh, base coat. It doesn't need to be the same uh, thickness as the rest of my colors because its job is to help all of the other paints flow. So um, in my split cup that I'm gonna be using tonight, um, I have these colors. And I will show you the, uh, the inspiration that I got off of Google. I, I, Googled spring color palettes and came up with a beautiful one that we all agreed was the right one to choose. So I think uh, some of these are custom colors and I think I nailed this color palette. I'm really excited about it. I know Claire can't keep herself to four or five colors, so she's probably gonna do three versions of this and three versions of each of these colors. Uh, but th I think this is gonna work perfectly for my ribbon pour. So uh, this first color is a mix of, um, let me see if I can remember this, permanent red violet light and uh, Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. So I just added a little bit of the Deep Violet to make this a little more purple than the other one was, and it will dry even more uh, darker than that. This is a, this little piggy pigment color. This is a mix of Submarine, which was too yellow, so I added in some Latte, which is kind of a creamy color. So it, I think it brought it down to the exact right tone. I'm really happy with this uh, mix. Uh, this one is Quinacridone Rose Light from Amsterdam. This is also a This Little Piggy pigment. This is Frost, which is a beautiful metallic blue. And then I have some uh, um, Chromacryl Acrylic Essentials in white. So I'm gonna layer my split cup in exactly these colors, and I'm going to do a ribbon pour flower. So I'm gonna turn my canvas as I go like this, and I'm gonna start with wide petals, and then uh, as the cup starts to empty, I'll start making some smaller petals, and at the very end, I'll do a little ring pour in the center, and then I will sp uh, spin the whole thing out. I'm hoping I don't lose all of my green base coat, since that's one of the colors in the, uh, in the challenge, uh, but I think this is gonna make a beautiful flower, so I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead and layer the split cup. I've got them in this exact order so I don't mess up. I'm putting my two colors with the most contrast on opposite ends. So I'm gonna start with the white in this outer chamber here. And this canvas that I'm using is a 24 by 24 inch canvas. So I need about 20 ounces of paint, but with my flow extender, my base coat color, I should be able to um, get away with a little bit less than that. We'll see if I need to. So we're gonna put the blue next to the white. These paints are a little bit thicker than my base coat color because I want them to hold the, the shape from when I pour it out. So maybe I can use this one to show you the consistency. You'll see that it leaves a mound on a mound when it drizzles off of the stir stick and it holds that mound for three to five seconds before it dissipates into the cup. So next to the frost, I'm gonna put this quinacridone rose light. Try to get the same amount of colors in each chamber. There we go. And then we'll put the yellow 
next to that pink. This is a pretty color palette, very pastels. I love it. Are you guys excited for spring? I know I definitely missed that when I lived in a place that was cold and wintry. But now that I live in Costa Rica, it's kind of summery all year long. I do miss the change of seasons though, but um, I don't get so excited about when is spring coming like I used to. Okay, so this, uh, you can see that this is a darker tone than the other pink, this custom one. And that's fairly close. And I see that I need to add a little bit more of the white into this chamber. There we go. Those chambers look pretty even. That's good. So now let's put down our base coat. Now, when I'm doing this type of pour, I've done several of them. I'll link them um, in my video description. I'm going to leave the center open. So I'm only going to put the base coat down around here and I'm going to leave the center open because every time I go out, I come back to the center. So there ends up being a lot of paint here in the center. So I don't want to add any extra paint to the, in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some music for you while I get started.
Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Cause you're a work of art You, you should know that you are perfect with those flaws Yeah, you, better step into the light Just give it a try, know that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Here is my wet result. You may think that the hardest part of doing this technique is the spinning and pouring at the same time, but it really isn't. The hardest part is getting that center right. I was a little off center and I had to spend a little time trying to fix that, but I think that center is cool. Um, it's just a lot bigger than I wanted. Um, I really only wanted to do like two or three little circles in the center. Um, so the center kind of took over as it spread out when I was spinning it, but you know what? It's abstract and I love these colors and I think I'm pretty happy with it. So let me show you some details. I did manage to keep some of that base coat green and it looks great peeking out amongst these other colors. That TLP Frost and the Submarine Latte mix, which kind of looks like gold at the moment. Um, is going to dry beautifully. I love the layering. Look at that. It, uh, having that darker purple in there with the, the more pastels really creates some interesting depth. Very happy with that. Really, really cool. And that swirl in the center, wrecking it a couple of times, kind of creates a little optical illusion there in the center. That's very cool. Yeah, so I hope you like this. Thank you very much, Anna and Claire, for um, collaborating with me. This was a lot of fun, and I love 
um, the uh, the color palette and the theme and uh, ribbon pours are awesome. This was a lot of fun. Let's do this again sometime. <laughs> so thank you very much for everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless. <laughs>